hard enough for some students just to uh, to concentrate on schoolwork and just to get good grades. Now you're getting good grades and you're doing well in the sports you're playing. Now, uh, what's your secret? How do you how do you balance both things? Well, uh, I guess most importantly is uh, right after practice, I got to get my homework done. It's just number one thing to do. I got to get home, take a shower, and then just concentrate on studies. I mean, can't do TV, can't talk on the phone, can't do any of that. Uh, you know, play sports right after school. You know, there's not much. You know, it's not too hard to come out and play a sport after school, but it's kind of a problem when you're coming home after practice. You know, you're tired. You know, you just want to go to bed. You know, talk on the phone, watch TV or something. But you just gotta, you just gotta be mentally strong. You just gotta, you know, think about it. You just gotta go. You know, I gotta keep my grades up and play the sport because if you don't keep your grades up, you can't play the sport. So, I don't know. I have, I have that kind of will. I just, I like to keep, you know, my grades up and compete. Okay, well, you know what? It's obvious that you've been pretty successful in football, basketball, baseball, you know, all the sports, and you're carrying, you know, like a 4.6 or something like that as a GPA. Who um, do you think has had the biggest influence on you? Who, who do you, are you most thankful for? You know, who's pushed you to that success? Um, I got to say number one and, you know, foremost, my parents, because I just, I admire them so much because my dad, you know, works sometimes 8 o'clock in the morning until 8 o'clock at night. My mom's always working. She even works weekends. So, you know, I got to admire my parents' work ethic. Do you have to ride Andrew to get his studies done, or does he just kind of take that on, on himself? Actually, uh, he takes it upon himself. He, he is, is uh, motivated and, and has a desire to succeed. And, and uh, uh, he's just, he's a very unique child, and we're extremely proud of him. And, and you know, I, to put a finger on it and tell you where something comes from, it's impossible. It's just that he's just a good kid all the time. <laughs> he also has some uh, wonderful teachers who are very motivating to him, and they, um, I think they, they love what they do, and they have a real commitment. So I think that that, that passion um, carries over in the classroom, so he's, he's motivated. Uh, as far as athletes go, I guess, you know, I admire some of the kids in the school. Um, you know, some of them aren't, like, the best athletes, but they always come out and give it their all. And, uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, if you're not the best player... But if you come out here and push yourself every day, I just admire that so much. I Why do you think it's important? You know, um, say that, that, that a seventh or eighth grader who's coming to high school next year is watching this, you know. Why do you think it's so important to get involved? You know, what would you tell, you know, what would you tell an eighth grade guy right now about when he comes into high school? Would you tell him to get involved with sports or clubs or something? Oh, definitely. Um, if, you're not, if you're not out at a sport, if you're just, you know, goofing off at home, just it doesn't do you any good. Um, you know, if you're out here uh, busting your butt every day, you know, you're, just gonna, you're either going to get in shape or you're obviously going to get in shape, and uh, you're just you're going to find, I don't know, the teamwork involved, and you know the competition. It's just going to make you a stronger person. Just it's good to be involved, and even if you're not an athlete and you don't really like sports, you can get involved in other things. Like you know, you can be involved with student council. Or you can be involved in any of the other clubs around school. So as long as you're doing something, it's important. Okay, so you're a junior now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have a year and a half left at Desert Mountain. When you leave here. And, and people talk about Andrew Duart. Do you want them to remember you as a good athlete, as a good student? What word do you want them to use to describe you? I, I want them to remember uh, how I work. I'm, I'm not sure, you know, who knows if I'll go anywhere uh, academically, uh, who knows if I'll go anywhere athletically. I mean, it all depends on what I do in the coming years, but, uh, you know, I just want people to remember that it's important to work hard. Uh, as long as you have a goal and you work towards it, if you don't reach your goal, still the effort you put into it makes it uh, all worthwhile. So I just want people to remember the effort. That's great, man. Thanks a lot. No problem. Well, as the sun sets, the moon rises over Desert Mountain. We'd like to call to a close another episode of More Than a Game. I'd like to thank Coach Harris and the coaching staff at Desert Mountain High School, as well as the faculty, and also the parents of Andrew and Laura. Now remember, what separates a good student from a great student is not a stat sheet, but a report card. Until next time, I'm Mark Hart. Have a good night.